Board one of week three starts off with a, an absolutely bonkers hand. Uh, anything could happen on this hand, and judging by the results, it did. But it's uh, likely going to go one heart opening by north, pass by east. If you're playing a weak, weak jump shift, you might bid two spades. And I mean, West is kind of stuck to make a bid. I don't like double because you don't have clubs and diamonds and you're kind of stuck, but I think you pass. Now that should slow North down if you're playing it as weak and it should go pass, pass, pass. But I can see anything happening on this, but the defense is interesting, the spades, and whoever declares on this hand, it's going to go badly for. So the defense to two spades is interesting because there's a lot of tricks to be had. The ace of hearts is led, and the east can throw the five of clubs. Uh, south can now continue with the king of hearts. And East can throw another club in case their partner doesn't have the ace. West can now cash the ace of diamonds or the ace of clubs. We still throw a diamond. And now when West cashes the ace of diamonds, they lead a club to be roughed. A diamond to be roughed. And now you still have the king of spades to come in for two off and two spades. So on this hand, if north-south end up in a contract and east-west defend accurately, they're going to end up in trouble. I don't really see a decent bid from the west hand when they have six hearts, even though they're very strong. I don't see a sensible bid from the West Hand. Board two is something we've discussed uh, regularly on the Thursdays in session, and that's the value of preempting and continuing to preempt. North South have six diamonds on with the position of the diamonds. So if the bidding goes one diamond, three hearts, North has a bit of a problem. They can't really double if they don't have four spades, although they're probably going to have to do that with 11 high card points. But if they pass and East bids four hearts, continuing the preempt, now it's going to be very difficult for North South to ever be able to bid to the cold six diamonds. So several people got to play in three hearts. Uh, undoubled. Several people got to play in three hearts doubled. Some north souths got to play in three no trump, which makes because West doesn't have the ace of diamonds, you just have to duck two rounds of hearts. But six diamonds or six clubs is a very good contract. So let's see how it goes if north doubles. No, we have to undo. Undo, undo, north doubling. Four hearts. Double from south. Five clubs. And now it's quite interesting to be able to get to six, six clubs or six diamonds is a reasonable chance. But... It shows the power of preemptive. If if north south, if east west get into hearts and bounce the auction, particularly non vulnerable, four hearts is losing two spades, a heart, a club, and a diamond. Six diamonds is making thirteen hundred and seventy. Six clubs is making thirteen hundred and seventy. And if if east west have a fit, we've also spoken about this before. If east west have a fit, north south have to have a fit as well. It's almost worth bidding six clubs or six diamonds on this hand, although six clubs is where you'd bid because you don't know your partner has diamonds. And now maybe East West have to find the sacrifice in six hearts. Difficult to do because you don't know whether six clubs is going to make or go down. 
Or three of a wild set of cards that we've seen. Most Souths are opening one spade. It also, it does fit the rule of 20 if that's what you apply. And this is exactly a hand where you can be using the unusual 2 no trump. With such extreme shape, and only seven points, adverse vulnerability, that's exactly what it's for. But if you find a fit in clubs or diamonds, you don't have very many losers. Now, I would imagine most Norths just bid four spades, but on this hand, I think North is worth bidding four clubs. If they get a four diamond Q bid from their partner, they have a very good hand for slam. Over that, over Tuno Trump, I would imagine East is going to bid five diamonds, crowding out the auction. And now it becomes a guessing game. Again, we've spoken about this. If they play in five diamonds, you can actually uh, go down by leaving a club and a club rough. If they play in five clubs, you always make five clubs. But North South make four spades. They lose two hearts and a diamond. So bidding to five diamonds or bidding to five clubs it look, is looking like a sacrifice, but it could be a making game, particularly when your partner bids to no trump. So shape is king when you have when you're over calling. Shape is king when you have a fit, but but being able to show four clubs is the bid which shows. A, a shortness in clubs, a good fit for spades and controls outside. So we come to board four and I look at the north hand and I think finally a little bit of a balanced hand for a rest. And then we look at the south hand and I think there's no rest for the wicked at all. So it's likely going to go past particularly if, as we've spoken about, opening first and second in hand with bad suits. So I'm hoping it went pass at most tables. One no trump from north, pass from east, stayman from south, pass from west, two diamonds from north, pass from east, three diamonds from south, showing a four card major and a longer minor and enough points for game. Pass, three no trump from north, pass, and a very, very, very reluctant pass from south, pass. So north isn't, uh, west, east isn't, has a tough lead. I mean, the best lead for them as it happens is a club. But if they if 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 the right way to play hearts is to play one to the king and then run the nine because that picks up four hearts on your left, and if they ever play on spades, you can finesse the queen. And if that wins, you can make a lot of tricks. And if it loses, they still can't attack spades. If they lead a diamond, you're going to have time to do what you need to do. So you've got five clubs. Two diamonds is seven. A spade is eight. And you can make three hearts for 11. But if, if, you, if West gets in before you get your diamond tricks and they switch a spade, you'll probably only make... 10 tricks. So this is a hand where a passive lead of a club works well, or even a lead of a low diamond works well, but a heart lead doesn't, and a spade lead doesn't work well for you. So board five, it looks like it's, even though it's a, 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 an unusual hand, it looks like that everybody stayed reasonably low and stopped in the nice sensible contract of two hearts. So it should go something like pass, one spade, pass, one no trump, pass, two hearts, pass, pass, pass. If North does bid two diamonds, it makes it easier for South to find the lead of a diamond, although it doesn't really help them because there's a double two. With the King of Spades coming down and South having the Ace and the Jack of Hearts, there's a lot of tricks to be had on this hand with the Ace of Clubs being on side. So you should lose at least two hearts, one diamond and at least one club. So two hearts should make eight or nine tricks reasonably comfortably.